Can you tell us your name, how old you are, and where you're from? My name is Rebecca, and I am nine years old, and I'm from South Dakota. South Dakota. Nine years old, you guys. Nine years old. So at the Race to Deliver, you experienced Holy Spirit, and you were actually delivered as well. Can you share with us a little bit about how your life was before this encounter you had with God? It was unloving, unkind. Everybody was mean to you. They would just say mean things. And I heard so many things that came from the demon, like God never loved you when you were born. He doesn't even love you now. And you're ugly as a witch. You're even uglier. So you were hearing these things that Satan was putting into your mind. Um, I know that she was saying that it was very unloving. So her mom actually shared with me that where they used to live, they were being harassed. They were being stalked. Um, it got to the point where they had to sell their home um, and live in a non-disclosed area because they weren't allowed to share this like information. Like um, it got to the point where she was at school and they would come and harass, like they would call and harass and just, it was crazy. So, um, so yeah, share with us. So can you imagine like that fear that they had like living within them. So can you share with us a little bit about what happened at Race to Deliver? They called um, some of the kids up to the stage and I was like literally like crying so bad. I, the Holy Spirit just made me fall to my knees and I felt demons coming at me like each time I was bowing down and like there was like a rock like coming out of me. So it wasn't a physical rock, but when you felt this rock, it felt like, like it was closing in on you. Can you share a little bit about how that felt? Well, it felt like really, really heavy. And it was like, it made me like bow down because it was so heavy. And you said that there was one time where um, it was so big that you felt like your throat was going to close up, right? Yeah. Okay. So after you experienced all of this, how can you testify and how is your life now? How has God been moving within you and your family um, now since that time? Now I'm, I just feel joyful all all like so peaceful and like every single day I wake up on the good side and I'm like ready to just start my, my day. Amen, praise God. I've been able to witness her in Kid Zone, and it's so, it's so beautiful to see her in Kid Zone just sharing the love of God. She, I know that she um, has told us and shared with a lot of us um, in the Kid Zone that if she wants a hug from God, she asks for a hug from God and she like receives, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she receives this and then she was saying that, oh, you guys, like if you guys want like God to come and play with you, just tell him to come and play with you and he will. So it's really awesome to see just a young girl is nine years old experiencing Holy Spirit and experiencing God in those way and that way. So Rebecca, can you share some advice to some younger children or just people in general who may be in the same position as you? Um, don't ever give up on God because he's always going to be there. He's just going to be right by you. He, he'll do anything you want to do with him. And he'll just like be, he'll be right there whenever you're going to go somewhere. He'll just be with you. Amen. <laughs>